Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for what you need to know right now. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and it feels like you may be at a crossroads because um, I feel like you could be in a situation where you have to work alongside someone else, and the two of you could be having very different opinions or ideas about how you want to go through with something. So this could be happening within work specifically. Um, we have the Three of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and then Seven of Cups. And so it feels like you're having to work with people that maybe um, don't think the same way that you do about something that you're having to complete together and so it feels like a group project but you individually are having a hard time kind of understanding maybe how to um, get through some people having strong opinions that you don't agree with so it feels like there could be something much um, bigger happening as well where maybe you and a group of people are trying to develop something um, and it feels like the amount of options or the amount of ways that this can go really depends on everyone involved being able to work together. And I feel like there could be just a lack of harmony in general. And so Two of Swords is you kind of saying, well, I can't give up on this, but I also don't like the fact that we're having such a hard time working together to make this happen. Um, so this could be within a relationship or a work environment. You know, take it how it resonates, but I do feel that what you need to know is that things are going to get better very soon. We have the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck along with that Two of Swords, which kind of indicates there is going to be some harmony here. There is going to be a moment where the you know, everyone involved is finally on the same page, but what I feel is the hardest part is knowing what it's going to take to get there. Um, so let's clarify the Seven of Cups. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, and I feel like Ten of Pentacles is the overall optimal outcome, right? It's the ideal um, ending to the situation where everyone gets what they want. There is a successful, um, you know, result. You know, there's peace, harmony, whatever. I feel like overall, the Ten of Pentacles just describes the outcome that you want to see um, and the one that is kind of maybe hard to achieve at this time just based on what's happening in the present moment. But again, we do have the Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, and Nine of Swords. So it does feel that there is a very important communication or conversation that's going to happen very soon where someone's going to be able to say how they really feel. And that's going to lead to maybe someone else realizing that they have been going about it all wrong. So it feels like somebody needs to address the elephant in the room or kind of stand up and say their truth. I feel like Ace of Swords could be that someone either will confess to you that they've been in the wrong or you will maybe have a moment of um, just being completely transparent with somebody and saying, hey, we need to have this talk because I feel like nothing is going to change unless we have this conversation right now. So Nine of Swords, I definitely feel like somebody is stressed out and really affected by the situation as a whole. So maybe, you know, you're the one that's kind of like, I really want this to end because it feels like a nightmare and it also feels like this is happening in a situation where it shouldn't it shouldn't be that way right it shouldn't be so hard naturally you know the effort that you put into something usually yields positive results without too much struggle but it feels like because you're working in a group or it's not just you doing this it's other people and now you're kind of feeling maybe that you're going backwards or that you're slowing down so instead of allowing this to further keep you feeling like it's holding you back, I feel like what Spirit wants you to know is that if you have this moment of truth, if you really are honest about this, you're going to realize somebody's going to be open um, to that and they're going to make some changes. So Eight of Wands is, you know, fast communication, but it's also receiving downloads, having epiphanies and having a higher conversation with somebody. So maybe this is even something you can elevate and take to someone that is, um, I don't know, maybe your boss or someone that is you know above your position or maybe there's just something that you can scale so that you're not feeling alone in trying to tackle this situation because it does feel like it's getting in the way of what you know could be a really good um, outcome you know i feel like you are trying your best to remain cool calm and collected right you're not trying to give up on this um, some of you cannot afford to give up on this especially if this has to do with work but it's kind of like this whole situation of lacking teamwork is really getting in the way of your productivity um, and just overall sanity so let's clarify the three of pentacles 
All right, and we have the star at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel that there is a hopeful, um, you know, resolution coming to you very soon. And I feel like the reason why it may not seem that way or may take you by surprise is because right now all you can see is this, you know, the frustration or the setbacks, or maybe you even feel defeated because there's could be an element of betrayal in this situation as well where it's like you've put all of your effort into this you've worked really hard maybe you've spent hours right putting your um dedication into something for someone else to kind of ruin it by not wanting to participate or wanting to put in their effort right and that's the thing about group projects it's like when we rely on another person to complete something and we know we've done our our part and they haven't it's kind of like we can't do everyone's work for them and maybe that's what you're realizing as well during this time it's like you're kind of having an epiphany about work um in this way where it's like you're realizing i keep doing everyone's job for them how long is that gonna last right how much longer can i go with this so maybe some of you are even feeling encouraged by this situation to go towards a better opportunity right maybe you're realizing i can take my efforts and do something better with them if i just you know allow myself to go in that direction but we do have knight of pentacles temperance and nine of or sorry ten of swords so that ten of swords again is that sense of defeat feeling like you're kind of backed into a wall simply because someone else is not you know doing their part but the temperance and knight of pentacles again there's something about time that is really important here i feel like time is not only going to give you um the outcome that you're looking for but it also feels like within a certain time period you're going to want to do things a little bit differently or you're going to be motivated to change something about your path at this time so it's almost like this situation is exactly what you needed in order to realize that you deserve better and that you're probably wanting to go in a different direction or at least um, handle things with others differently right it's like you're learning a lot more um, than just teamwork or time management or you know whatever the case may be it feels like this whole project is kind of giving you a sense of okay now that i know how this works maybe i can take my you know my skills and my strengths and put it somewhere that i know i'm going to get um you know proper effort from or you know i'm going to see that reciprocation in the work that i do because it feels like right now there's just like an imbalance of people working and then people not working um and i just feel like you're over it so let's clarify the seven of cups All right, so we have King of Cups. I feel like you're incredibly passionate about what you do, and maybe that's why it's been hard to look at other options. Um, but I do feel, though, that you can take that passion and put it somewhere where there will be a balance. Um, it's really interesting to see. We have the Justice, Page of Wands, and the Lovers, which is your energy. I feel like this is the tarot, um, and the universe kind of backing me up and saying, yeah, this is exactly you know, right, you have to kind of think about yourself at this time, Gemini, and ask yourself, am I really um, at the best place that I can be? Like, do I, am I setting myself up for failure by not looking for a different opportunity? Is this as good as it's going to get? Obviously, you can do more um, than what others are doing here. So maybe this is about you realizing that you can take this passion that you have and really apply it somewhere else. Page of Wands is also maybe encouraging you to look for that alternative or to look for a different um, workplace or a different solution to this situation and then justice is about that balance that you're seeking right it's about receiving the same that you're putting into something and realizing that something here is not right and the best way that i feel the universe is saying you can find justice within yourself is to realize that if you know if this is an opportunity for you to realize um that you deserve a better environment then why not go for that right it feels like you can bring justice into this by choosing to act differently or just choosing to act period right and, and doing something really drastic like standing up for yourself and saying you know what i've had enough i think i deserve better but for the most part before i get ahead of myself what the universe wants you to know is that there is going to be a resolution very soon but again the main thing here something needs to happen right there needs to be some sort of intentional conversation um, in order to bring the light to what's really going on because i also feel like there there's kind of um, a sense of denial like maybe you're the only one that really sees what's going on because other people are pretending like it's not happening or they're not really paying attention uh, but you can't be the only one with you know a clear view of what's going on so really hope that this was helpful and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one